Well, in theory, everything works great, but in practice, things can get a little ugly. As we'll see in a reasonably simple example, consider the function e to the x squared plus y. Try to tailor expand that about the origin up to and including terms of order three. Let's build a big old table where we write out the multi-indices, i, and then all of the terms associated with it. For the zero, zero term, we're just taking the zeroth derivative of the function. It's just e to the x squared plus y. Evaluate that, the origin, I get one, and then that's it. That's my zeroth order term. Now for the first order terms, let's take, uh, first of all, one comma zero, that term. That means taking the partial of that with respect to x. That's not so bad, right? 2x times e to the x squared plus y. Evaluate that guy at the origin, and oh, I'm going to get 0, right? x is 0. No, no big deal. OK, so I don't have to worry about that term. Now, when I take the partial with respect to y, looking at index 0, 1, then again, this just returns e to the x squared plus y. That's nice. Evaluate that at the origin. I get 1. And I have to multiply that by y. OK, for the second order terms, now I need to make sure I divide by 1 half out in front. Oh, man, I need to take the second partial with respect to x. That means applying the, the product rule. I get 4x squared times e to the x squared plus y plus 2 times e to the x squared plus y. Evaluate it at the origin. Get to multiply by x squared. OK, I'm getting tired. Uh, the mixed second partial, I need to take the, uh, the partial with respect to x and y. And I do that, but that evaluates to 0. And now I finally get to 0, comma 2. I take the second partial with respect to y. That's not so bad. I evaluate. I get 1. Multiply by y squared. Divide by 2. OK, that's the second order terms. Now we can do the third order terms. But you can do the third order terms. I ain't doing it. This is taking way too long. There must be a better way. There must be a better way. And there is a better way. If we just think back to the Taylor series for e to the smiley, it's 1 plus smiley plus smiley squared over 2 plus smiley cubed over 6, and then uh, higher order terms, terms of fourth order and higher. Now, look, just let smiley be equal to x squared plus y. That's a perfectly nice polynomial. Plug that in. Just substitute x squared plus y in. Every time there's a smiley, you've got these terms. Um, pack everything else into a big O of degree four terms and higher. Now, at this point, you're going to have to do some algebraic expansion. Just uh, expand out all those powers, but that's not so bad. And now comes the garbage collection, because we only care about terms of degree three and higher. Everything that had a degree four or more, just throw it into the big O trash can, and you will be left with the answer, which is 1 plus y plus x squared plus 1 half y squared plus 3 halves x squared y plus 1 half y cubed plus big O of uh, the other stuff, right? Fourth order terms. That's it. It works. But I wonder, why does that work? I mean, is there a good reason for it? Is this just a thing that you memorize? No. The reason is, of course, the chain rule, our favorite differentiation rule. Once again, coming to the rescue. The composition of Taylor series is the Taylor series of the composition. Just be careful when you use it, just like back in single variable calculus. OK, here's an example that would be just awful doing it. Uh, step by step, consider square root of 1 plus y plus x times z about x equals y equals 0 up to and including terms of order 3. Oy, 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 that would be bad unless we let smiley equal y plus xz. And then I've really got 1 plus smiley to the 1 half. But I remember the Taylor series to that. It's 1 plus smiley over 2 minus smiley squared over 8 plus smiley cubed over 16. Uh, and then fourth order and higher terms. Now, you might want to go back and review some of your basic Taylor series. So you can do this. But once you've done that, come back and then just substitute in y plus x times z for smiley into this Taylor series. Do some algebraic expansion. You're going to have to, to multiply out those polynomials and do the garbage collection. Put the higher order terms into the fourth order 
trash can. And then, um, in order to, to have good bookkeeping, keep everything nice and neat, put the lowest order terms first and arrange them nicely so that you get a final answer of 1 plus y over 2 plus x times z over 2 minus y squared over 8 minus 1 fourth xyz plus y cubed over 16, everything else fourth order and higher.